dodge rolls, parry mechanics and kicking small enemies. This is Anomaly Agent. Anomaly Agent is an action platformer based in a futuristic cyberpunk world. When we begin, we have access to a dodge roll jump as well as a basic attack, but shortly after, we're introduced to a parry mechanic, ranged weapons, as well as a host of other abilities. What I will say is that the game gives you so many options on how to play. You have access to combos, combat finishers, as well as special abilities. Upgrading your abilities is simple. You'll need coins and emotions. And that's right, ladies and gents, this demonic little feeds off of our emotions. Now, emotions are obtained via conversations with NPCs, earning a positive or negative emotion based off of your response. Coins are gained via killing enemies and looting boxes in the game world. Don't worry though guys, you won't be using real money for these loot boxes. There is a combo multiplier displayed on your screen. Basically, the more hits you get on enemies, the larger this grows and the more coins you're granted. Now, I didn't really pay attention to this as I was more concerned about not getting hit. I had most of the upgrades when I finished the game, so don't put too much emphasis on getting huge combo multipliers. So I'll cut to the point. The game is a challenge, man, and there's nothing more I enjoy than a well-balanced challenge. When I started the game, I was getting seriously tagged by enemies, and this was in the first few minutes. So I knew the game wasn't messing around and I was going to need to nail the dodge roll timing. When you die, you'll respawn from your last checkpoint, and the checkpoint system in the game is generous, and there's also plenty of them, so you won't need to worry about backtracking. The visuals of the game do give you that cyberpunk-esque vibe. Subways that look like they're from the Warriors, clubs that look like Tech Noir and the Terminator, and also, the Terminator 1 was the best one, by the way. Which if you give enemies enough time uninterrupted, they'll merge together and form a more powerful being. Now, you can interrupt the merge sequence with all of your moves, whether that be ranged or in close quarters. Just try not to let too many of them merge at once, otherwise you'll be respawning at a checkpoint. The platforming in the game is enjoyable, but the environmental hazards will do some damage if you're not careful. There's electrical parts of walls, laser beams, as well as sections of the map that will protrude from walls and kill you. You do have good manoeuvrability though, supported by a double jump as well as an air dodge. There are some fights where you have to dodge enemies as well as moving hazards that will kill you. And I did put a few coins in my swear jar following these encounters. Enemies drop health kits and they do seem to drop them when you pretty much need them. I never had issues with low health unless I was just playing poorly. If you have taken a bit too much damage, you can play like a bit of a and play the range game. As the saying goes, when life gives you lemons, go and buy some tequila. There are some NPCs you will speak to throughout your journey that expand on the narrative of the story. And as I mentioned earlier, you can respond to NPCs in a positive or a negative manner. Now some of these NPCs are interesting and there's definitely some character development throughout the game. The boss fights in the game were challenging, but also fun. None of them were just straight up 1v1s, a lot of them had some form of level based mechanic to keep you on edge. Now you'll be looking for tells like a yellow exclamation mark that means a move can be parried, or a red exclamation mark that means it can be dodged. It reminds me of Dark Souls, where after enough attempts you get their patterns memorised and you can just eventually beat them. So, you want to talk about the good? Yeah, let's talk about the good. So I like the combat, and all of the tools and abilities provided to kill enemies. The art style, it looks cool. The music was even better, and the story was there. The game took me around 9 hours to complete, and I think that's good value for money, considering I paid around £10 for it. There's definitely some replayability factor in the game, which you'll discover after completion. There's also another game mode that says that it's coming soon, so that'll be interesting to take a look at. Moving on to the bad, and don't worry there's only one thing. The game started to drop some frames here and there, but even more so towards the latter end of the game. More so when there's a lot going on in the backgrounds, now this did result in a few deaths that otherwise would have been avoided, but this is just me being picky, because honestly, the game was great. And if we're going to talk about the good and we're going to talk about the bad, we might as well talk about the ugly, which is of course, your mother. So look, I highly recommend Anomaly Agent, and give it the Senor Donut stamp of approval. Please leave a like if you enjoyed, comment if you'll be picking the game up or your experience with it, and subscribe if you want to see more content just like this. I'm Senor Donut, and I want to thank you very much for watching. Peace. Oh, I'm going to take these donuts, yeah, and shove them in your big fat... <laughs>